Hey everybody, it's Chase with TCG Bulk Kings. I'm here with your March bulk market brief. I'm gonna try and do this every month or so just to make sure that uh, everybody who may or may not be aware of the bulk market has all the information that they could possibly want. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I've got my website pulled up here. It's all the updated buy lists and we'll just have a look at everything. Now there's not a whole lot of uh, changes from last month. If you saw my video from February, uh, for the most part, the prices are trending sideways. Uh, we'll just scroll down here for magic. It's virtually no change in bulk commons and uncommons. And there's a couple of little incidental moves as different companies slightly adjust their prices depending on their needs for what they need to take in um, but that's all that's really going on here no big changes averages are virtually flat um, same with Pokemon bulk commons and uncommon prices are identical to last month Safari Zone hasn't changed their prices no new people have really jumped in as far as um, big players or anything like that I'm still not buying bulk basic energies I have about 50,000 right now. V prices are still 50 to 75 cents, you know, etc. etc. Yu Gi Oh! prices have moved even less than Pokemon. So, really, the big three things are flat. That really points towards a healthy, stabilized market where everybody is agreed on what the prices are. Um, so, uh, that's pretty good. As for some of the more obscure games uh, outside the big three games, uh, for Flesh and Blood, I've taken in a few uh, collections this week. Um, so that pricing I have on here seems to be working okay, especially for newer um, first edition, unlimited, and for rainbow foil sets, or rainbow foils. So that's worked out pretty well. Troll and Toad have expanded what they're selling, or what they're buying in Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I if you saw my short from yesterday, I took in a little bit of Dragon Ball Super this uh, this week as well. So I'm really excited to dig into that and let you guys know how well that, those commons and uncommons are selling. Troll and Toad are not buying bulk commons and uncommons. They're only buying these higher end rarities, but I want to be able to buy commons and uncommons as well. So uh, for Digimon, we've got a new uh, buyer on Digimon. I, I found a new place with a bulk buy list that has Digimon on it so uh, check out Guardian Gaming TCGs if you're looking to sell anything to them they don't have the highest prices on Digimon right now that would be Table Salt Games that does that but um, definitely give them a look uh, I do have a Vice Schwartz collection that's supposed to be coming in this week I uh, I did raise my prices on Vice Schwartz bulk based on the feedback that I got from my video about it last week there's a um, a lot of pressure it seems like keeping vice force bulk you know buoyed up um things like the the sets aren't really intermixable so people want to hang on to the cards that they have from different uh licensed ips in vice force there's also the fact that there's also the fact that there's no rotation your deck from five years ago should be just as viable as it is today there's also the just the collectability factor and things like there's just a lot of things that seem to be pushing up prices for bulk vice forts. Um, so we're trying it out at this price and see what we can do. If uh, it sells as well as the recent collections I've bought, in, you know the smaller lots I've bought before, this should more than easily be coverable. Uh, and then I haven't had any other sports card purchases this week, and, and there hasn't been any changes on the sports card bulk price online for a long time. As always, uh, check out this page. I update it from time to time. Let me know if there's a broken link or if there's some mistake in pricing. Someone did point out to me the other day that I had a zeros on a bunch of my prices for Pokemon different categories. So thanks for that. Um, if you know of anybody who needs to be added to any of these lists, they have a website that I can link to. Shoot me an email, send me the link. I'd, I'd love to add anybody onto the list. I'm not trying to keep anybody off. I want the market to be as open to everybody as possible. And yeah, of course, if you're looking to sell, uh, go ahead and uh, shoot me an email. Click on my link here and shoot me an email uh, about selling your bulk. 
If you're looking to pick up some bulk from me, um, go ahead and watch this video right up here and that can tell you about how you can buy bulk from me as well.